Hello everybody, this is Jane the Haunter, and today what we have to unbox and set up is the new for 2023 remake of Techie Toys Resurrection Mary. This is an animatronic I was super, super excited to see back this season, as this is one that Spirit Halloween carried a pretty long time ago now. Uh, 2010 is when she first came out, so it's been 13 years since she was out. And when she originally came out, she had some pretty iffy quality issues. But I'm hoping that with Techie Toys advancements that they have nowadays, that this is really higher quality. And right off the bat, there's her, uh, the new updated support feet that have the hooks on the side of them. So that way it can latch onto the fabric. And then the new foot removal key, if I can get that out. Like that said, it's way easier to get those feet out. So we're gonna go ahead and set that on the ground. And then the tombstone, there we go, I can pull that out. The tombstone, which has a much darker paint job and also some blue on there. The original one didn't have any sort of blue on it, but this feels a lot more firm than the original one did. So that's a lot nicer. So that'll definitely last longer. And as for her, oh perfect, that comes out no problem. And oh my gosh, she looks exactly the same, which is amazing. Look at that. She definitely has a lot darker paint job with the black and stuff around her eyes and stuff, which looks so much better. See her hands under here somewhere. There's one of her hands and the hands are the exact same as well. I'm really excited to get this out. Okay, so let's get all of these parts laid out and show you what she comes with. Here is everything that she comes with. You have her tombstone with the pole attached, her base, her support foot, and Mary's body with the hands and clothing all attached. Let's get to her setup. And inside the instruction bag, you're gonna have these two tiny gray pieces that are going to attach her hands to the tombstone. The first thing that you're gonna do is locate that back support foot labeled A and snap lock that into the bottom of the base. Now we're gonna go ahead and attach this part of her tombstone, which has that part of the support foot labeled B into the front of her base. After snap locking the tombstone's foot into the base, go ahead and locate the end of your pole labeled C and snap lock that down into the spring loaded part of the mechanism. Now we're going to put on her body. After twist locking on Resurrection Mary's body to the pole, go ahead and lift up her outfit and locate that wire coming out of her base and the body labeled E and snap lock that in to ensure that her head gets power. After plugging in that wire, go ahead and locate the two tiny gray pieces that if you have not taken them out of the box just yet, they are in the baggie with the instructions you are going to put, place the hands lined up with the holes that are going to be going all the way through the tombstone and then stab a hole with that hook that you can see right there, that little hook that is right there that's gonna stab directly through her tombstone. And then you're going to attach those gray pieces in through those holes to secure her hands to the tombstone. And now your setup is complete. This prop does not come with a six volt, two amp DC adapter, but you do have the option to use one or for AA batteries. For my instance here, I have a spare six volt, two amp DC adapter that I will be using on her for the purpose of this video and to demonstrate her to you guys. When she is plugged in, she is going to immediately reset and lay back down. And here she is all reset and ready to go. And just disclaimer, I have seen her work already because she also still has her timer function. And here she is all reset and ready to go.
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the new 2023 remake version of Resurrection Mary. Holy crap, you guys, this is awesome. For $99, this is a complete steal for an animatronic in modern day. This prop 13 years ago with her lesser quality retailed for $99 at Spirit Halloween and Fraser Hill Farm has her back this season for $99 with all of her upgrades. This is awesome. The only downfall, but I'm not surprised because this is still a $99 product, is that she does not have volume control or an external speaker jack and they have also removed the LED from her head. The removing the LED from her head, I 100% understand why because the 360 spinning head, I had this issue on my original one. It, the wiring was getting caught on the frame and preventing the head from moving and the head starts clicking. It was a really bad issue. So I'm glad, I'm glad, but at the same time, kind of sad that it's gone, but I understand why they did it. And it's definitely going to help her longevity. They've also shortened her hair. If you guys remember the remake models that they did back in 2011 and 2012, she had a really, really short haircut that was probably to about right there. And now it is a little bit longer, not too long, not too short. The original one had a average length wig that was always getting caught in the mechanism. I personally never had that issue, but I know a lot of people who did. So this is like the perfect length for her. She has this whole new upgraded mechanism, a whole new upgraded springs, whole new upgraded head mechanism. A lot of things that I know a lot of people are gonna complain about is the material of her head. It is a very cheap quality material head, but you have to understand that to fight the spring load of the mechanism, it could not be a hard plastic because that would also hinder the performance of the animatronic over time, stressing the spring, stretching the motors, stressing the gearboxes. You, you, you gotta look at it from kind of an engineering standpoint of why they make some of these parts and these props a lot cheaper. And this is one of those instances where it absolutely had to be like that, or it was just gonna overall damage the prop over time. For $99, this is a 100% complete steal. Even get her on Haunted Hill Farm with the Welcome 20 coupon code and get her for 80 bucks. That is a complete steal for this prop, $80 for this full jump scare, head spinning, horrifying woman. This is awesome. One thing I would have changed is the outfit. I do feel that the black looks plain and cheap. So I will be going through and adding just a draping some gray creepy cloth across her body to, just to give her a little bit more pop on her outfit and hopefully you can view her hair a little bit better because you can see the black hair blends in with the black outfit pretty well. That is not a big deal. You can get that at the dollar store for a dollar. So I highly recommend this girl if you have the opportunity to grab her. I highly, highly, highly recommend her. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe.